Hi, I'm the Naked Fairy, and today I'm without my glasses because uh, there was a glare, and it was distracting me, and I have to tell you I'm pretty distractible today. It's just been an overwhelming few days, and uh, I have an overwhelming evening ahead of me, and I had that moment where I said, screw it all. Screw it all. And I wanted to just stop. Not do anything else. Not do the video blog. Not not do what I need to do this evening. We all have those moments. And the question is, what do you do in those moments? What do you do in those moments when you just want to give up? I'm not talking about wanting to kill yourself like I talked about last week. Um, that's a little bigger issue. But we all have those moments in the day where we just we get fed up for some reason or we get tired, we get overwhelmed and we just we want to quit. Whether it's for five minutes, or five hours, or five days, we just want to quit. It's one of those moments where we have a reaction. And the reaction is, well, it's yours. My reaction was mine, and there's a lot of reason for it, and a lot led up to it. Nothing inherently bad in and of itself. Just tiresome for the most part, and overwhelming do when you have those moments? How do you just keep swimming? Sometimes it's physical. I have some physical issues, including fibromyalgia, that sometimes my body says, you need to stop. And I've learned to listen to my body or it stops for me. And that's not pleasant. And when your body tells you to stop, you need to listen and really evaluate and decide how you're going to go from there. Too often, uh, those of us abused as children, we learn to ignore our bodies. We learn to dissociate from our bodies. We had to. We had to do that to survive, and there's no criticism there. What you did to survive as a child, you did good. Because now you're an adult. You survived. You did good. What you did to survive deserves to be honored. And that includes the disassociation and learning to ignore our bodies. But often I want to say, but actually, almost always, no, I'm going to go with an absolute. Every time you find something in your life that you did to survive in your childhood, you need to honor that, but then you need to recognize that what got you past the abuse and past the trauma is now hurting you in adulthood. Adults, adults who live full lives, and I don't know any who don't, whatever you do, whatever your job is, whatever you occupy yourself with during the day, whatever your relationships with, you have a full life. It's literally 24-7. And if you don't listen to your body, if you don't listen to it when it tells you you need rest, when you're sick, when you're hungry, when you're thirsty, if you're not listening to it and paying attention to what it says to you, well, you're screwed, literally. And not in a happy way. So, again, what happened in childhood... You survived, and that's good. But now it's time to do it a different way. We also learned to kind of give up in childhood. Even, even if you fought what was happening to you, you learned the inevitability of what was happening to you. If my cousin came in, he came in. And I fought, and I never once won. Eventually, he always got what he wanted. Part of me recognizes that physically I'd have been better off not to fight. But that was me, whether you fought or gave in. 
at some point you recognized that what was happening was inevitable and you gave up. But it's different now when you're an adult. When you have that I give up moment, you have a few more options. You have more resources. You have more space between that I give up reaction and what you're going to do. So yeah, I had that moment. Screw it all. I didn't want to do my video blog today. I don't want to do the things I need to do tonight. In fact, at this moment, I don't want to do the rest of the week. I am tired and worn out, and one good night's sleep isn't enough to recover from that. So I have some decisions to make, because here's the thing. I'm not. I'm not going to screw it all. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to take the next five days off. I might take the next day off after I spend some time thinking about it. Or I might not. But I have the freedom now. I have the resources now to think about it when I have those moments. To think about it and make a decision. As adults, well, as children, but as adults, everything we do has a consequence. As adults, we can decide if the consequence is worth it. Children, we often don't have enough knowledge, enough uh, understanding of the situations, enough power, enough freedom to do what we want. Even as an adult, we're more limited than we want to be, and we don't always see everything we need to see. But our range of choices, our range of possibilities, is a lot bigger. So we can take advantage of that. I can take advantage of that. I can talk to the people around me. I can check in with them, see how they're doing. I can check in with them and say, I need a reality check. I just want to give up. But I know that's not the best choice for me right now. Help me find a way through it. And that's what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to go to the people in my life and say, help me decide my priorities right now because I just want to give up and I really am feeling one of those all or nothing moments. I have to go totally through with my previous plan or I have to totally give up. Not seeing an option that really varies much between the two. So I'm going to need help. It's okay that you get tired. Whether it's from dealing with PTSD or dealing with abuse issues that have popped up, whether it's uh, just dealing with the everyday overwhelmingness that life can be, it's okay that sometimes you're worn out and you want to give up. And yeah, Definitely. Tonight's a night to watch Finding Nemo. And probably Finding Dory afterwards. Because just keep swimming is what I need to do. At this moment, I'm not sure what direction I'm going to swim or how fast I'm going to swim. But I'm going to just keep swimming. Even that little decision feels like a relief. I've moved from wanting to give up. The decision to just keep swimming, even, like I said, not knowing where I'm going or how fast I'll be swimming, has gotten me past that moment. I'm going to just keep swimming. And sometimes when I just keep swimming, it's not the happy, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. It's more like, just keep swimming. Because you're tired. You don't want to, but you know you're going to. So I'm going to just keep swimming. And, wow. I hope you'll just keep swimming too. Because you're going to have moments and days when life's overwhelming. 
when it feels like too much. And you just kind of want to give in. But just keep swimming. And always remember, when you're swimming, when you keep on keeping on, when you get past that moment where you want to give up, clothing is optional. Consent is not.